Yeah. Good morning. It's Monday. I'm on now, okay? <laughs> How's everybody? I um, hope everybody's doing well. I promised you I'd roll out the back. Let's start on the lower back. Um, two balls and then just put them on right in the, um, right above your sacrum and we'll start there. There's Angela. Hi. Okay. So those little balls, you know the little place where it just, your back kind of indents just a little bit right above your sacrum. And then just do a little pelvic tilt right on the balls. Find a spot where it feels good and just lift your tail and drop your tail. tail tuck and the drop of the tailbone. So find a spot and then just do a little tiny circle. If I were to be in the room with you, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you're circling your tailbone around. You're just circling, kind of digging the balls in. Now do the circle the other way. And then draw the balls up your back just an inch. I don't want you on your ribs though, okay? So we're just in that lower back area. And then draw a little circle with your tailbone. So small I can't see you moving. Your arms are really relaxed. And remember the balls are on either side of your spine. Draw the circle the other way. Oh, one more, one more position. And as I go up, I get a little more sensation. I'm drawing the circle again, tailbone. I'm right in the middle of a tail tuck and an extension. Draw the circle the other way. How big is your circle? Mine's about the size of a dime. It's really small. Just the point of your tailbone drawing that circle. Drop your tail. So I don't want you up on your ribs. Give your arms a stretch, knees out to the side, and draw the balls up between your shoulder blades. And we'll do the shoulders today, and upper back. Okay. And we'll do the typical clasp your arms and take them over your head. Give yourself a little rock right to left. Ah, oh, that feels so good. And then do it again. Just inhale, exhale the arms over your head. As you do that, you're in back extension. And then draw your lower back down. Back extension. You can add your knees out if you like. Good. And close the knees. Close the arms over your chest. And open up again. Good. Close everything up. Open everything up all the way out behind you. Can we do the balls in another position? I think that would be nice. Just on either side of your spine, between your shoulder blades, open up the arms. And over your chest. So this time I want you to do something else. Cactus the arms over your head. And then draw the arms up in a cactus. Good. Now just take your shoulder blades and then just the knuckles going down, knees going out, and then close up. So your elbows are going to stay down now. Open up, cactus. Good. Close up. Cactus. Open up. <laughs> Good. Close it up. And again, go ahead and open it up. Good, couple more. That feels really good to me. I don't know about you. Feels great. Let's see who 
with ah got a few people in here hello hi paul hi karen hi janice hi greg hi andrea nice to see you all even though i can't see you i can see you in my mind's eye keep going keep going more of those. We're going to do our snow angels. You guys ready for those? So palms up and snow angels around. Try to drag the arms on the floor. So they're really, they're just dragging on the floor. I am in a supta baddha konasana. It just feels good. Inner thighs. You don't have to be that way though. Good. Open up. Good, good. One more position. One more position with the ball, snow angels, okay? I want to get to the front of the shoulder too. I hope that might feel good for you. So take a lift over your head. Does anybody need a, um, anybody need a mental reframing of their life? Just, you know, sometimes we have all these things going on in our life, especially now. I would love for you to just Come inside your heart, come inside and just feel the, the solidness of your being. Just feel that you have everything it takes to handle your life. You do. Dig the balls in wherever you need them. Holy cow. I am tight. I don't know about you. I am so tight between the shoulder blades right now. It's astounding. I'm just not even. That's amazing. I'm letting them just dig in here for a second. Ooh. Whoa, Nelly. That's hard. Okay, so I'm going to put the balls on the front of my shoulder. I guess I'll start with the right shoulder. I'm going to start with one ball. I'm going to take my balls are in a little package, so I'm going to take one out. I'm gonna go for the right shoulder. I wanna make sure I know what time it is. Oh good, we have time. So right shoulder. I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna put my arm out to the side. So we've done this stretch a lot, but I want you to put it in the front of your shoulder, kind of where, um, kind of where it feels good, the bicep tendon in the anterior shoulder. And then you're just gonna lie down with the arm going out to the side, okay? And then you're just gonna roll Look to the left, bend your left knee, roll a little bit on it. You won't be able to roll as hard as you usually do. Usually we roll all the way over onto the right shoulder, but I want you just to rock into it. And this is one sometimes, this tendon, as we get older, it kind of thickens up. It gets, it gets thicker and it won't slide through the shoulder as well. So we're just trying to like flatten it. Not with pain, but just, you're just kind of flattening all the musculature that feeds into the shoulder girdle on the front side. Now, turn your hand both ways. Um, palm up, palm up this way, palm down. Kind of mess around with the, the rotation of your arm. And then you can kind of feel the ball kind of digging in. I'm going to start going down my arm and I'm now, I'm just rolling from the top of my shoulder, anterior, down like four inches. Just rolling the shoulder. Can you guys feel that? Just roll it out. Okay, so take the ball out. We're just do something. Now cactus the right arm. Just right out, bend the left knee, look to the left, and then just roll over, okay? 
So this is kind of like a doorway stretch. If you were to go through a doorway with your arms in cactus. So just one arm, just go as far as you need to go. We're just gonna hold this about a couple more seconds. Relax down. Good, I think that's about 30 seconds. And let's do the other side, okay? Left arm, put it right in that spot where, and the arm's going out at 90 degrees to your body. And you're just kind of moving your shoulder around on the ball. And if possible, you're gonna roll your arm all the way around, like palm up and then knuckles up and then palm up the other way. So you're just feeling the full rotation of your shoulder as the ball kind of digs in. It's not exactly, I mean, it's intense, I should say, but it feels good, good intense, okay? And I'm coming down my shoulder a little bit, but it's on the front side and I'm down a little bit. I'm not right on the girdle, I'm more on all the attachments that feed into the shoulder girdle. So at the top of all the musculature. And I'm just rolling across the top. And I'm almost, as I roll my palm up, internally rotated, I'm almost at the mid shoulder. I'm going all the way over it. So I'm cross frictioning all the muscles that feed into the shoulder girdle. And I'm kind of just rolling them out. Spaghetti to linguine, that's when I always tell myself I'm just flattening out all this stuff. It gets very ropey and we wanna flatten it out. Oh, a few more times, just rotating your arm up and down, front of your shoulder. Good, ready to cactus that arm? So go ahead and take the ball out. Cactus your left arm, look to the right, and then you're gonna roll. You could drop your elbow. Now for some reason, this is my shoulder, the right shoulder gives me problems, but this shoulder is tighter, I cannot roll over on it. So, interesting. The body is interesting, isn't it? Explore, but no pain. You can straighten your arm. If it's too much, straighten it. Honestly, you do not want to hurt it. My arm feels better straight on this side. But it's feeding back to me that my left shoulder is pretty tight and pulled forward. And then just to put it all together, go back to child's pose and take your arms forward. Hopefully that feels pretty loose in your shoulders now. And then walk your elbows forward and then just kind of put your arms on your shoulder blades, pull back. can walk your elbows closer together so you really kind of squeezing your head and pull back. And from there, let that go. Take your arms up behind you. Just give your shoulders a stretch, forehead straight down. Pull your arms up to the ceiling so lots of length between your shoulders and your ears. Pull up. And then do one more stretch for me. I think we're almost ready to start our vinyasa flow. Um, take your hands down and then your hips will stay high, Hanuman. Just come on up, hips high, arms straight out in front of you and forehead down. You can take your palms, pinky fingers down, palms to face one another so you're externally rotating. You can take your arms a little wider See if you can get your shoulders really open here. Pull back, hips back, open up your shoulders. Beautiful, 
beautiful. Let's see what time we have, guys. It's 9 o'clock, so time to start our vinyasa flow. Um, I think we're going to start seated. And you can be on a pillow if you like, or a block, or something. Um, you decide how you want to sit. Um, let me get, I'm playing some music. I love to play music. Actually, my music is not playing, so we give up on that. It's okay. Don't know why I'll fix it later. I'm going to sit on a pillow. I found this pillow. Isn't it cute? I found it as I was cleaning stuff. I'm going to sit on it today. We're going to do um, some side stretches, okay, and some twists. So just wave. Is it gray by you? It's so gray. I don't know what it's like inland but it's gray and drizzly we've had so much gray weather this year good just wave over and i don't care what side you do but let's just go over 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 so as you come over just give yourself a little stretch and on the next one you're going to hold it okay so come on over ah feels so good stretch it out and then take your hand behind your head elbow up chest open just look up yeah, good, good, good. And come on over. Stretching out your side. Feels kind of delicious. And then bow in. Oh. Elbow to knee. And then open up. Good. And two more bow in. Twist. You can use your belly. Mm. Good. And open up. One more bow in. And open up and come up. Take that hand to your knee, that knee you've been bowing to. Lift up high, hand goes behind you, other hand. Twist, and I want you just to just twist as tall as you can. Just tall, yeah, just as tall as you can. You're just lifting up. Good, look behind you. Good. Take your hands on your knees, and then this time um, you can go in a Supta Baddha Konasana. So now you're not crossed. And I want you just to pull your knees together, round back, like a cat. And then cow, push your knees down. Good. Two more. Cat. Pull back. So you really pull back. Really give yourself some traction. And then push on your knees. Arch your spine a little bit. Good, get long. One more. And push down. Good. And we're going to do the waving on the other side. So whatever side you didn't do, waving to your friends. Here we go. more and then we'll hold it okay and this one will hold stretch out hand behind your head so you're opening up heart to ceiling good just like that elbow to ceiling and then bow in elbow to your opposite knee One more, elbow goes down, and up, good, hand up, sitting up nice and tall, twisting, you're just going to twist, notice your sides, how they feel, lift up high, Good. Inhale. And then come back to your Supta Baddha Konasana. I'm going to take my pillow out now. My beautiful pillow I just found after years of not having it. 
the truth is my I bought these for my daughters and they used them when they were just little kids they used to meditate in their room it was so cute and um, yeah I said remember this do you want it but nah mom we don't want that <laughs> anymore go ahead and cat and I think they will want it but Not now. Go ahead and pull back. Arch your spine. Good. One more, one more. Arch your spine. And then come to, just put your feet like that, Malasana. Come on up to rock around here we're going to start um, doing our flow but if this feels good drop one knee then the other you can do it you can bow in get a little deeper in your stretch let your head just drop good and then we'll go to quadruped we're going to start our our class today quadruped um and then I want you to let your belly drop. Just let it drop. I know we don't do that that much. We always pull it in, but drop the belly. Let it be loose. So your back's an extension, but it's passive. And then just drop your head. Drop it. Now let your shoulder blades almost touch. So just let them drop together. Rock forward back in that position. One, two inches. Good. And then just a normal cat cow. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. So we'll go into our dog. Inhale. Exhale. Just to neutral. Tuck your toes down, dog. So this is our first dog. You can walk it out. Really stretch your calves. And go ahead and let's bend the left knee and look under your right shoulder. Just kind of peeking under your right shoulder. Walk your left arm back for the bent knee. And then just kind of woohoo, get a little deeper into the under the right shoulder. Lift the right hip up. Open up the right side. Good. And then do it on the other side. So you'll just go bend the right knee. Look under your left shoulder. Walk the right hand back towards the bent right knee. And then just look under your left shoulder and pop the left hip up. And then tippy toe dog, so you're back to dog. Spread the fingers, get the hands really wide. Take your elbows and pull them back, yeah? And then tippy toe dog, pull back. You're really trying to get the shoulder blades and the shoulders nice and open on the front side. And go ahead, press down, wherever you go. Hold your dog. Take off my coat here. I was cold <laughs> with the, the clouds and all that stuff. Um, so three-legged dog, right leg lifts. Now right leg, I want you to put it to the right, the right knee to the right elbow. And then I want you to do it again. This time make the biggest circle. So you're going to be over, 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 over. Open up the hip. Open it up, open it up. And then right tap your right elbow. Good. And then this time you'll go straight in. Knee to nose. In plank. So kick up your right heel. And then me in. Good. And then lift it up. And then we'll just do it to the left elbow. Okay. So bring it in. Twist. Use your belly. See if you can tap your tricep or your elbow and then lift it up. This time, stack your hips, bend your knee, and 
kick your right heel to your right, well, you don't have two tailbones to your tailbone. <laughs> kick it up. Good. Lift your knee higher. And then bring your knee in. Okay, very nice. Low lunge. So drop your left knee and then come up on your right thigh and press up. Get really high. Tail tuck. Tighten up your glutes. Yes, yes, yes. And then lock your thumbs and bring the hands over your head. And then kind of pull your arms, elbows apart. Pull them apart. Working on shoulders again. You can bend your elbows. Yeah. And then dip down into your left hip flexor. Pull your ribs off your pelvis. Good. Stay here. Stay here. Go a little lower if you like. Pulling your elbows apart. Good. Feels good, doesn't it? Just a little stretch. And then we're going to do half splits. So drop your arms. Straighten your right leg. Inhale. Exhale to bow. Inhale, lift. Exhale to bow. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale to bow. Still breathing, I hope, <laughs> even though I'm not saying so. <laughs> I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna just stretch my ankle. I like to just give myself a little bit of rotation as I'm in this split. I go right to left with my toes too. It just feels good on the hamstrings. And walk your hands forward, and then we're gonna lift the right leg again in plank. We're gonna hold this. This is a power pose. So here we go. Three point plank. You're holding. You're breathing. How you doing? And then you can come down to Chaturanga to your knees or from a three-point plank. Belly. Good. Widen your legs. Inhale, tent your fingers. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Good. And just three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So the crown of your head should be straight up. Now, I don't know if you're down. You can be down, but you're looking straight forward. Okay? One more. Long spine. Good. Belly tight. Are your glutes contracted? They should be tail tucked and contracted. Good, and then you're down. And let's go into our down dog again. Lift up, reverse out, chaturanga. Reverse and down dog. You can take a little walk again. You can bend your right knee and look under your left armpit and walk your right arm back. We're doing that one again. Go ahead. This feels good. Really hike the left hip. You can take your heels kind of to the right. Good, and then the other side, you'll bend your left knee, look under your right armpit, heels kind of come left, and hike your right hip up, walk your left arm back, it gives you more support, and then look under, get more out of your right shoulder, hello, I can see you guys, now, good, okay, and straight down dog, tippy toe, really rotate the shoulders out and down, and then go into your dog. Hand. Left leg will lift. Inhale. Good, good. And then we're going to go left knee comes over to the left elbow. This is a practice one. <laughs> lift it up. Now circle it around all the way up to the ceiling. Left knee all the way over to your left elbow. And up. And then left knee comes straight in, knee to nose. Really kick the heel in. Hamstring, everything pulls in tight. And lift up. Good. Inhale, exhale over to your right elbow. Can you touch it? And lift up. Inhale, exhale. Left leg comes forward. We're in low lunge again. Down we go. So push up high into your thigh so you get this big lift of your spine mm -hmm. 
and then drop into the right hip flexor, tightening up the glutes. Lengthen the backside as you lift. Good. Lock your thumbs. Maybe you walk the other way. Pull your elbows apart. You can really bend them so you can get the chest open. Dip into the right hip flexor. Look up if you like. Try to take your arms behind your head. Pull the arms apart. You can bend your elbows a lot to get that opening of the chest. Tail tuck. I don't want you to lose the integrity in your spine. Okay, and let it go. And then just take your left leg and straighten it. And then we can do a moving half split. We can do inhale, lift your spine, exhale to bow. We did that. We can do that again. Inhale. Exhale to bow. Inhale. Exhale to bow. And this time you hold it. You can move around into your hamstring. And then just nice and easy. Walking forward. And power plank. Ready? Three points. Here we go. Left leg lifts. And you're holding. Driving your elbows back, pulling in your um, belly, and then looking forward of your arms so you're not dropping in the head. The left leg is energized. Are you ready for your chaturanga? Inhale, exhale, and the elbows down. Good. All the way to the floor. Tense your fingers. This time we're going to do a little. Inhale, up, exhale. I want you to look over your right shoulder, kind of back over, good, center. Look over your left shoulder, bend the right elbow a little bit, and then down. We're going to go around that way again. Look over your right shoulder, come up, and then bend your right elbow a little bit. Look over your left shoulder, good, and come down one more. Let's do that. Up, look over your right shoulder. Bend your elbow, right elbow, and look over your left shoulder. And just roll down. We're doing it on the other side. Come up, look left. Bend your left elbow as you look over your right shoulder and come down. Look over your left shoulder, come up. Good. Bend your left elbow a little bit as you look over your right shoulder. Yes, good, good, good. One more. Come up, look over your left shoulder. Bend your left elbow, look over your right shoulder, and come on down. Let's do one straight center. Okay, so inhale, exhale, straight up. Belly tight, good. Pull your hips under, a lot of energy in your glutes. Good, you ready? We're going down, inhale, exhale, down. Come up to plank, inhale, hands underneath your shoulders, turn your toes under, power plank. Up we go. Holding plank for just a few breaths. Yeah, and then we're going to do some plank uh, to dog. So, um, dog. Plank. Ripple out to your tippy toes. So, a harder plank and dog. And then we're going to do two more and do this with your um, belly. Here we go. Out. And. Good. How about one more? And all the way back. I want you to get light on your feet. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Start to hop maybe. We're gonna hop all the way through. You guys ready? Hop it through. Sit down, good. One little ab thing, okay? So pull your knees in and get in your Navasana. And lift your feet higher than your knees, okay? Flex your feet back, good. Hold this, hold this. Take your hands back. We'll do a supported Navasana. So first supported, and we'll just take the legs out low, okay? We'll do 10 of these. Exhale 
without any exertion. Yeah, good. Keep your spine nice and straight. I think we're on number five. more. Don't get too comfortable. We're not done, but we will be done soon. Lift up. Come back up. Let go. Good. Good, good, good. Straighten the legs. Right leg up. Left leg hovers. Take a hold. Give yourself a stretch, but don't go anywhere. Just roll down. Use your abdominals, okay? Left leg's in the air. Good. Head and a pulse. Right knee in, just bend it, pulse and twist. Left elbow to that right knee, good. Just doing a few abdominals, pulse to the outside of your leg. Can we do side crow today? So we're gonna take that left tricep on the outside of the right thigh, you can help it in. Stick it, hold it. Okay, let it go. Switch it out. Left leg long and up. Just pulsing up. We're almost done. Um, go ahead and bend the left knee. Twist. And you're going elbow to your knee. For a few times and then you're going to take that right tricep to the outside of your left thigh and stick it. You ready, set, go. Side crow. Okay. Let it go. Legs in the air. Lift up. Arms over your head. Rock up to boat. <laughs> We're done with the abs. Cross your legs, down dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. A couple more times. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Right leg lifts. Inhale. Exhale the right leg in. We're going to go for crescent pose. Come on up. Good. So inhale, we're going to do just a little movement here. So I want you to twist to the right, to the front leg. Twist. Lift up. Bow over your right leg. Arms fly back. Good. And lift your arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Now twist left. Great. Inhale up. Fly back. Bow. And inhale. Exhale. Twist to the right. One more time. Twist. Inhale, exhale, bow forward. Inhale, exhale to the left. And one more time, inhale, exhale, bow. Inhale, exhale, twist right. And so from here, we're going to be taking our left hand down, right hand up, lunge twist. Drape your right hand around your back, all the way to the left hip. Plant your left arm. And then go ahead, plant your left arm. I'm going to be facing away from you. Go on the outside of the left foot and walk your right foot halfway back to your body. So both feet are facing to the right. You're on your left arm like a side plank. Now take your right arm over your head and then reach it up and over, over your head. And now reach your right arm back to your foot as you drop the left hip. Drop it and lift it up. Good, drop it, hip drop, and lift it up. One more, drop the left hip, reach your right arm back towards your foot 
you're stretching right through that bottom left waist and lift up hold this pose or side plank take the right foot on top of the left hold this pose or lift your right leg up lunge twist when you're ready take the right leg back lunge twist we are done with that side. Right arm down, take the right leg back, hover plank. Mm, chaturanga with your leg up or down. You choose it. Up dog. This might be our first up dog. Down dog. One more breath. Deep breath in, deep breath out, releasing everything. Coming back to yourself, deep, deep, deep. Focusing just on what you need to focus on. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale the left leg in, crescent pose. So same thing on this side, we'll just set it up so you're on railroad tracks rather than a tightrope, makes it easier. The right heel's lifted. Inhale, the arms up, sink in, and exhale, twist towards your front leg, towards the left, good. Inhale up, exhale, bow. Fly your arms back, and this gives us a, an opportunity to open the chest, but bow forward, so spine long. Good, inhale up, exhale to the right. Inhale up, exhale, bow. Inhale up, exhale to the left. And we're gonna go one more time. Inhale, exhale, bow. Inhale up, stay low. Exhale, twist right. Inhale up, exhale over your left leg, bow. And last time, inhale, exhale to your left. Twist. Good, from the belly button, right arm down, that front arm goes down, left arm up. Twist to open. Now plant your right hand and drape your left hand on your back, okay? Plant your right hand, then walk your feet, this foot walks back, and you're on the outside, baby toe side of your right foot. Mm -hmm. And then lift your left arm over your ear, stretch. Lift your left waist up, lift it up, and then reach to your right foot and drop your hip. So you get a stretch in the bottom part of your waist and lift up over your head. Do it again. Reach to the right foot. Lift up just one more. And again, drop your right. Good, up you go. And then you can stay here for your side plank or take the left leg on top of the right. Option to lift your left leg up, that's your option. Left leg forward, lunge twist. We're back here again. Left arm down, left leg up in the air. Chaturanga with your leg up or down. Good. All the way back to dog. Inhale, exhale, hop, step, or float forward. Inhale to lengthen. We'll do three of these. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale to come all the way up. Exhale, arch back. We'll cactus the arms. Pull back. Tighten your glutes. Lift your sternum. Lift your ribs off your Hips. Good. Get taller. Lift your sternum up. 
just get a little taller in this pose even if you don't go back as far inhale the arms up let's stretch to the side so take one side i don't care what side take your wrist and pull open up that side right there inhale and exhale so we're going to ask i'm going to ask you to go deeper if you like or you can stay here i want you to be careful stay lifted on that side that you're stretching to too so you stay tall stay tall stay tall maybe go another inch keep breathing it's a big stretch open up that top shoulder one more breath good and up and we'll do the other side okay so you're opening up the shoulder you gently go into it and your uh, arms will frame your head and then if you want to go deeper inhale exhale a little bit deep stretch your arms longer go deeper one more breath good inhale up exhale Good, inhale the right knee up to your chest. Stand tall. If you'd like to, you can have your hands go around the bottom of the foot, find a focus spot, and straighten your leg. Pulling your elbows back, shoulder blades pulling back. So from here, I want you to bend your knee again. Take your foot behind you for flamingo or dancer. Still balancing on your left leg, left arm up. Left arm lifts if you're doing dancer. Lift it up. Lift, 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 lift. Kick the right leg really into your hand to pull your right shoulder back. Kick, kick, kick. Go a little deeper. Breathe. Relax. And release. Inhale the arms up. Exhale your left knee in. Pull in tight. Now this is where you can stay. This is a great stretch. Or you can take your hands around the bottom of your left foot. Inhale and exhale. Straighten your left leg. Bend your knee again. Leg comes back around for flamingo, right arm by your ear. Lift up high. You can grab the outside of the foot or inside of the foot. If you're doing flamingo, knee to knee, tail tuck. If you're doing dancer, lift your right arm to the ceiling, palm up, and kick the left leg into your left hand. Lift up, lift up, both the right hand and the left foot going up, 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 left shoulder pulls back. Slowly let it go. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, dive down, right down the center. Inhale, lift. Exhale to fold. Two more times. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. One more. Lift your spine long. Exhale to fold. And either step back to plank, I don't know where you are, or walk out to plank. I'm at the back of my mat, so I'm going to walk out. We're going to do a locust pose. So you're going to lower down from your knees or your feet, chaturanga. Take your hands behind you, clasp them. Lift your head, neck, shoulders up. Lift your feet up and just hold your locust and breathe. Good. 
the back of your neck is really long. Give yourself a little double chin. Good. Take your hands down, plank pose. Down dog pose. Breathe and relax. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, warrior one. Come on up, inhale. So in warrior one, we're just gonna take um, that back leg is at an angle and then bend and bend your right knee. Turn your hips center. You can even do a little manual adjustment if your hips are going left. Pull them around to the right and then just hold this. Open up your shoulders again. We're gonna take a bow, okay? Humble warrior. Right inside your right knee. Open up. Hold humble. Come up halfway. Now take your right leg straight and bump your left leg in about six inches or so, maybe 12. You're set up for kind of pyramid, but we're gonna go halfway, okay? Just halfway down and lift up six inches and down. We're strengthening this right hamstring. Lift up and down. Good, about three more. Three, two, one more. Hover halfway down again. Arms let go. Pyramid pose. Bow over your right leg. Revolve triangle. Right arm lifts. Twist. Go back a little bit. So today I'd like to try revolved half moon, which would involve lifting your left leg. So take your left arm out, reach it out, and lift your left leg up. Good. Great, great, great. Now I want you to balance on that right leg, bend the knee, start to pull the left knee in, stand up, and pull your left knee up and twist towards the left. Cartwheel your hands down, back to revolved half moon. Left arm down. Right hand up. Gonna do that two more times. Bend the right knee. Left knee up. Good, twisting to the left. One more. Cartwheel down. Revolved half moon. And come on up, bend the right knee, stand up on it. It's a lot of work for your right leg, huh? And left knee up. Option to take the left foot. Ooh, losing my balance with your right hand. And straighten it out. Warrior three, let it go. Wow, that's a lot of work. A lot of work on the right leg. Lift up, go deeper. Last four, last three, last two, last one, and splits. <laughs> Lift the left leg high. As you bow into the right leg, <laughs> lift it high. Forward fold. Inhale to lift. Exhale to bow. Inhale to lift. Exhale to bow. Good. And from here, I want you just to plant your hands. And can you hop back or step back to plant? 
and then a chaturanga in whatever way you'd like to do it, from the knees or from the feet. Chaturanga all the way to the belly. Ha, yay, good. And we're gonna do locust again, okay? So take a vine behind you and then forehead straight down. I want you to begin by double chinning it, lifting your head up. Just do that part, just lift your head up. So the nose is straight down. You've got the biggest, the chin is almost on your chest. Hold your head up, really strengthening the back muscles, okay? Tighten up your gluteals, lift your arms off your body, and then lift your legs up. So you've really got a lot of integrity in all the muscles in the back of the neck. Lift, your, lift the back of your head up. Good, tighten up your triceps. Point your toes, make your legs longer rather than shorter. Reach your feet back. Reach the crown of your head forward. Last four, last three, last two. Hmm. Plant your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, plank pose. Whew. Whew. <laughs> Tap talk. Ah, take some breaths in your dog. <laughs> We're gonna do that on the other side. <sighs> Breathe and relax. Left leg lifts. Left knee in, warrior one. So we've got this warrior one shape. We've been here, so we all know what to do. This way, we twisting our hips. You can give yourself a little uh, manual adjustment. Twist your hips to the left. And I have to pull my right toes further forward to do that, because otherwise my hips are really sideways. So I'm trying to twist, but I'm gonna change the, the position of my back leg a little bit. I might step in a little bit so I can get my hips level and forward. So belly button tight and tighten up the right gluteal so you get the stretch in this right hip flexor. Good, and we'll take a bind here. It feels very different on this side to me so I really have to think about it so my body does not like to do it for some reason. This side's much harder. So, um, we're gonna humble warrior. So when you're ready, you're gonna bow inside your left knee. Make sure you have space between your legs to get your body to drop in there. Sometimes I like to give my legs a little more width. Okay, here we go, bow. Pulling the left hip back, right hip forward. Left shoulder inside the left knee if it reaches, otherwise you can rest on your left thigh. Drop your head so your head has no, it doesn't work at all, your neck's not working. And then pull your arms over your head for humble. Stretch out your shoulders in whatever way you feel would feel good. I'm letting mine just really open up here. And then from here, we're gonna um, come up halfway. We're gonna bump the right leg in just a little bit. Straighten the left leg. So we're, we're really loading this left hamstring and glute, and we're gonna rock down and up. So you can be way up here to do that. You can be halfway down and do that. I don't know how you're gonna do it, but I just want it to be, you're loading it, and it's straight and in a stretch position, but I want you to load it up and down about five more times. Pull your belly in, angle your belly button down. I think that's probably enough. Go ahead and release it. Good, and then bow over your left leg. Pyramid pose. Totally release it. And left arm comes up, we'll do the revolved triangle. So left arm up. Now the right arm can be on your leg, floor or leg. Right arm travels forward, right, arm, right leg lifts. Revolved half moon.
bend your left knee. Right arm comes up, right knee comes up, and you're twisting to the right. Cartwheel down, revolve half moon. Bend your left knee, bend your right knee, stand up, really pull your belly in, twist to the right. Back down, revolve half moon. We've got one more. Come on up. This time, you've got the right knee and you can pull it in and right arm back. Or you can have the left arm take the outside of the right foot. Lift it up. Straighten it up. And twist to the right. Let it go, warrior three. Lifting through the right glute, touch the floor, standing split. And then the left leg, the torso goes to your left leg, just pulling down. That's your stretch. You can bend the knee, whatever you want. The right arm, the right leg can come up. Right leg drops. Forward fold. Inhale. Three times. Exhale to fold deeper. Inhale. Exhale to fold deeper. One more. Inhale, exhale to fold just a little bit deeper. This time, cup your hands around your heels if you can reach them. Take your forearms behind your calves and then just pull in. Make yourself into a little sandwich. Drop your arms down. Let go of your forward fold. Lift up halfway. Inhale. And from here, you're going to try to hinge up. I want you to tighten up your glutes. Tighten up your hamstrings, okay? Arms out. Lift up. Hamstring, glutes. Good, very nice. Inhale. Exhale to arch back. Good, cactus your arms. Inhale up. Exhale, dive down. Great. Walk your feet out to about mat width. I'm going to face you. We'll do a couple of squats, so if you like these, do them. You can only go as low as you like. I'm going to go all the way down to Malasana, and then I'll be standing up. And you can put your hands on your thighs. This is a good functional exercise, but I don't want it to hurt your knees or anything back. But what I do is I push my hips back. I push my hips back, so my glutes are doing the work. So go ahead and stand up, arms up or down. I feel very little in my quads. I'm pushing my hips all the way back, okay? I don't know about you, but... Good. We'll do three more. Two more. Push back. Make sure both glutes are working equally. Make them work equally. One more. Functional exercise up. Good. And then get in a chair. We haven't been in chair today. So chair pose. Reach up. Hips back. Mm -hmm. And then tippy toe chair. Come down lower. So I want you to go hips all the way back. Hips all the way back. And I want you to hover right above your heels. 
hold it. Last eight, last seven, tippy toe chair, six, five, four, three, two, and down. Good. Great job. Yeah, you made it. We're laying down now. So we're going to do the left foot to the right thigh. And you're going to have your right arm behind you and you're going to be going up to arch. So let's do the first part where we're going to kind of twist and bend over the right leg. So inhale, twist and bend over. The right arm goes back. The left arm goes to your right foot. And inhale, exhale. Go ahead. Just enjoy it. And then come on up and then just so slightly just take the right arm back and lift up the left arm and again bow Take the left arm back. You're going to go on your left knee and lift up. Push through your hips, flatten your right foot. Reach the right arm over. Three more. Bow over your right leg. Reach back, left arm down, right arm up. Flatten your right foot. Arch the hips. Bow over. Reach the left arm back and reach up. from here to go into side plank on that left arm. So you just walk your right foot out, walk your left foot out, and you're in side plank again. Option from here, lifting the right leg. We're going to finish off this side. Wild thing. Right toe down. Arch. Arch your body. Really push your hips up. Heart up. Wild thing. Good. And rotate back around, chaturanga, down, an up dog if you like, a down dog if you like, and you'll hop through with your left leg long, right leg bent. So we'll do the whole thing on the other side. Inhale, twist to the left leg and bow. Just enjoy it. Enjoy your stretch. So the first time we'll take our left hand back, lift our right arm up, lift up high, good, and back down, fold down, over your left leg, right arm circles back on the floor, left leg will go flat, up onto your right knee, lift up. So you know the way here. You're going to go back down and bow three times. You're going to come up and arch. Back to bow. And again, arch. Good, and you've got one more bow, and then we'll hold the 
um, arch. And then you can do anything you want on that. You can hold it just like we've been doing it on our right knee. This is a good place to be. Or you can walk your feet back and go into side plank. Or you can lift the left leg up, put it behind the right on your tippy toe and lift your hips up, heart to the ceiling. Wild thing. We're just gonna come down. We're not gonna do anything else right now. We're not gonna do any more chaturangas. I'm just gonna have you roll down. Just roll down onto your back. Pull your knees into your chest. Take a few little rocks around. Hmm. Good. And plant your hands underneath your hips, okay? And we'll do a fish pose, long legs. Walk your elbows in. Lift your chest up. And then the crown of your head just rests very lightly on the floor. Fish pose. Breathe and relax. One more breath here. Head down, slide your arms out, and then take the right knee in to your body and foot up in the air. Grab from the inside of your foot for a half of a happy baby on the right side, okay? Just like that. Now the knee is going down outside your shoulder. Keep pulling it down, relax. Place your left hand on your left hip to make sure it stays level. If you want to straighten your right leg, if you think it might feel good, do it. Or keep it bent. We just have this um, twist we're going to do. And um, I'm going to give myself a little space here. You take the right knee in hold it um, into your body, and then just twist it over to the left side. So from here, you can straighten your leg if you want. So bent knee or straight leg, the right leg. And then you can open up your chest here, just the right side, let it relax. Breathe, find the pose that feels the best to you. And whatever pose you're in, bring your knee back in and give yourself a hug. Rock little circles on your back and then we'll do the left leg. If your right knee needs to bend, that's okay. But otherwise, half of a happy baby, pulling the left knee down and outside the left shoulder. And just relax. Opening up your hip. Breathe. If there's something else you need to release, do it. If you straighten the leg on the other side, do it on this side. And then we're going to pull our left knee in. And then we'll just gently take it to the right. And if you like the bent knee version or both, maybe you're going to do both. Or maybe you like to straighten it out. You do what feels good. Just an easy twist. Whatever twist feels great to you. Reach your left arm out long and just relax.
Now come out of this pose and give yourself a hug. Maybe some circles on your hips, sacrum, maybe a full happy baby. Just whatever makes you feel. Sometimes little pelvic tilts can kind of just loosen up your back and then just kind of get it nice and even again. Maybe pulling in your abdominals tight, left to right obliques. And then laying your spine down just so nicely on the ground. And taking another breath in, another breath out, breathing out anything you don't need to keep inside your body right now. Just let it go, okay? Let it go. Please let it go. Breathe out. So did I mention we're in our final resting pose? I don't know if I did, but we are. We're in our final resting pose. Just relax, breathe, enjoy. Breathing and relaxing. Breathing and relaxing. Letting go of anything you don't need to hold. If you feel the need to stay in your savasana, please do it. It's a great place to be for a couple more minutes. And if you'd like to come up seated, then do that in any way that feels good for your body. And when you're ready, inhale your arms over your head and bring your hands to prayer. I'd like to say a prayer for all of you for um, peace, happiness, contentment today. And I thank you so much for practicing. Namaste. Thank Namaste. you, guys. Thank you. You do. Thank you.